Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day four of our new year, new yogi challenge. And today we are focusing on inner peace with a yin yoga practice. For yin yoga, we tend to hold poses a little bit longer. So we'll be holding poses anywhere from one to three minutes. So just be sure to listen to your body throughout the practice. And any, if anything doesn't feel good, just ease yourself out of the posture. So let's get started with some breath. We're just going to use the Anjali Mudra. So just hands at heart center. You can close your eyes down or lower your gaze. And today we're going to tap into what's called the Ujjayi breath. And the Ujjayi breath is just a calming breath technique in which you make your breath a little bit loud so that you can hear your breath. And it's another one of those things that helps to activate your parasympathetic nervous system and calm your body. So to do the Ujjayi breath, we're breathing the whole time with our mouth closed. As you inhale, create some texture in the back of the throat as if you're making a snoring sound. And as you exhale, imagine yourself fogging up a window but with the mouth closed. So your breath should sound like this. Good, so let's continue with those Ujjayi breaths. Your breaths just sound like waves in the ocean. Good. On your next one, let's sweep the arms up. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, let's twist to the right side. Left hand outside of right knee, right fingertips face the wall behind you. Gaze straight ahead or following that back shoulder. And as we're in these postures, see if you can continue your ujjayi breath. Good. Inhale, come to center. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand, sorry, to the left. Right hand outside of left knee. Left fingertips face the back wall. You can look straight ahead or let your gaze follow. We're just warming up here a little bit. Inhale back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, release the hands. Let's roll up to hands and knees. Getting ready to come to Balasana, our child's pose. So big toes together, knees wide. Start to float your hips back towards the heels. If you need a little support, bring a pillow underneath your hips or keep the hips lifted. Take an inhale. Exhale, melt down to your balasana, your child's pose. And we'll spend a little bit of time here. Remember that ujjayi breath as you relax. Let your forehead come down to the ground.
Take a couple more breaths. Bring your gaze in between your hands. Float your body up to a table position. And then come all the way down to rest on your belly. And then we'll come up on the forearms for Sphinx Pose. So let your fingers be spread nice and wide. Separate your feet a little bit here. And be nice and active through the shoulders. So not sinking down, but shoulders engaged. Think about gently pulling your forearms back and your chest through for your Sphinx Pose. And find that breath again. Good. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Drop back down to the belly. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and press to table. Now let's move into pigeon pose, Ekapada Rajakapatasana. So our right knee will slide up in between our hands. If you're able to bring that shin uh, parallel to the front edge of your mat, feel free if you have that flexibility. But it's okay to have a bent knee here. I myself have to bend my knee quite a bit. And you'll extend this left leg back, starting in an upright position. Trying to stay up on top of the hips, so not um, dumping our weight into one side. We'll stay up high to start, and then we'll start to ease down lower. If this doesn't feel good for your body, you can come to upside down pigeon, which looks like this. On your back, ankle crossed over the knee, staying here or bringing your knee in towards your chest. So whichever modification works best for you. And then once you start to settle into the pose, you can lower down, maybe to your forearms first and then to your hands.
A couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. We'll come back up on the hands. And then we'll roll onto the right hip. Sweeping that left knee towards the front and coming back up to table. We'll do that on the other side. So if you're on your back and upside down pigeon, just switch sides. Otherwise, left knee slides up, right leg extends back, starting in an upright position. And then you can begin to slowly come down lower as you start to settle into the posture. And inhale, exhale, start to make your way out of the posture. We'll sling both legs around in front this time and come down to our back. Extend the arms overhead and start to Bend your body over to the right. So letting those arms extend over towards the top right corner of your neck. And then we're going to let those feet extend to the bottom right corner. So making a banana shape with our body for this pose called Dhammanasana. And allow yourself to relax here. Find that breath again. on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Extend those arms over the top left corner. Feet towards the bottom left corner. Bottom left corner. This way. And find that breath again.
exhale. Release and hug those knees into the chest. Rocking side to side. Curl yourself into a little ball. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release the feet to the bottom corners of your mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. And find that ujjayi breath again. See if you can bring your attention to your breath. To the sound of the ujjayi breath. To the rise and fall of your chest and belly with each breath. even to the temperature of the breath. The coolness as you inhale and the warmth as you exhale. And allow your breath to bring you deeper into your rest. And if you are feeling comfortable here, feel free to turn this video off now and stay a little longer. Otherwise, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Let's take it a moment for gratitude, for self-care and self-love that you've extended to yourself today. When you're ready, we'll roll up to a comfortable seat. And together, we'll sweep the arms up. Inhale, hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for day four of our new year, new yogi challenge. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you're enjoying the practice so far, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.